All right, guys, welcome back to another cool video. Uh, if you watched yesterday's video, this beautiful M4 competition, video linked above here. Take a look at that, that was yesterday. And now straight into another beast, the X5M SUV4. Okay, this one pushing uh, 567 horsepower, 583 foot-pounds of torque, twin turbo. This is twin turbo, that's a V6. We're looking at a little girthy V8 in this one, okay? So today we're going to give you a full sort of, you know, in and around sort of demo. We're going to take it for a little drive. It's a little bit wet today, so we got to take it a little bit easy. Uh, but we're going to try and give you the full experience uh, and let you know whether this is a, a buyer or not. Okay, so with this, let's check it out. All right, guys, so let's just take a quick little look-see around real quick. Okay, obviously quad exhaust looking really, really sort of gnarly. Um, you know, some non-functional air vents. Not too pleased with that, but whatever, to each his own. Um, I like how this, these tips are finished in a nice sort of black, sort of gloss black. That could just be because they're really dirty, <laughs> but they're looking really, really good. Quad exhaust always means serious business. There's your X5M badging, all right? Coming around, this, this one's finished in sapphire black. Um, obviously has the, the tinted windows and everything on it. You get your, your M Sport specific mirrors as well, right? With all the creature comforts that come with the BMW. There's some more M badging, right? I've been driving this car for the last couple hours, hour or so, and it's a hoot to drive. So much fun, so much power. This one's almost 6,000 pounds, but with all the power it's got in it, it, you really don't, you don't feel that weight necessarily. It's got so much pickup, so much torque that um, it's able to get from a, a standstill up, up to a speed and it, very, very quickly. This one does the zero to 60 uh, in 3.8 seconds, which is just unbelievable for a car this size. All right, so coming around here, guys, before we open this, I want to apologize because it's looking really, really dirty. Um, but even though it's dirty, you got to take a look at it. You got to see it because it's it's the, the piece de resistance, the main sort of selling point for this vehicle, the big 4.4 liter um, V8. So let's get a look at it. If I can open her up. Come on, come on, come on. Sorry. Get my assistant here to do uh, all the hard lifting for me. Thank you. And there she is, looking dirty. My God. If you ever own a car like this, guys, and you take pride in your vehicles, don't let this happen to your, uh, to your engine bay. Keep it nice and clean. Moving on. Just a quick little shot here. Look at how beautiful these grills are, right? When you see something like this pull up behind you and you see that, move over because it's coming quick all right so here we've got the key you know pretty standard sort of bmw key obviously with a nice sort of m motorsport color code there looks really really good all right let's unlock it we're going to take a little look see at the interior here okay so again like you're getting all this really high level motorsport performance but after all of that, behind all of that, you still get the luxuriousness of a um, you know, really nice BMW. So let's just have a little seat. Very similar to yesterday's video in the M4. You get a lot of carbon fiber. You get your beautiful um, BMW uh, technology infotainment system, all controlled by your hockey puck. Um, you know, I feel like once you've been in a, in a BMW, you've kind of been in, you know, an M Sport BMW. If you've been in one, you've been in all of them. They're very, you know, synchronized in terms of, you know, this looks exactly the same in, in the, the Merce uh, <laughs> almost said Mercedes, in the uh, M4. Uh, and I guess, you know, they just want to keep it all pretty streamlined. You know, if something, if you're doing something well, you know, why change a good thing, right? So very similar to the M4, you get your M Sport badging. You got your analog um, dashboard as well. Just really nice and clean, really well done. All your your um, your buttons on the top there. I'm hoping this comes through, get my hand there. Uh, but a really, really nice place to be. Uh, head seat, uh, headrest there, M badged. Really, really comfortable seats. That's one thing I noticed when I'm driving. These are really, really good quality, comfortable seats with like 18 way adjustable. Um, so just looking in the back there, Obviously this is a four door, very comfortable. Um, you know, you got, you know, it, it seats five people very comfortably, plus a, a bunch of storage space in the back. 
Uh, and that's that's kind of what you get in this thing versus a, a little two-door sports car. Is you get all the power, the performance of a you know of a little sports car, but you're able to cart around your family if if need be. So there's all your your buttons. Go from efficient to sport to sport plus. You know the engine, suspension, um, everything you really need. Traction control. That's the dangerous button right there. Keep that on, unless you're, especially on a day today, we're going to be keeping that on. That'll get you squirrely really quickly. Um, all your storage space under there. It's a little dirty. Apologize. Um, you got your space there. So yeah, looking looking pretty good. Pretty typical sort of you know BMW SUV, but um, obviously under the hood, this thing is an absolute beast. All right, guys. So let's get a little startup of this bad boy, and we'll give a couple revs in efficient sport and then Sport Plus. Okay, let's get a start. Listen to that growl when it starts. Okay, so let's get a couple revs in efficient mode. Sounds pretty quiet, pretty tame, pretty decent. Sport mode. Taking it up a little bit here, up a little notch. There you can hear the valves are open a little bit. All right, it's got a little more pops and bangs, right? Obviously different to this one. The M4 had a sport exhaust on it. This is the standard exhaust. Now we're taking it to Sport Plus, and let's go. That is, that's the beast right there. That's where the money goes right there. This is the, the this is what differentiates the car from a normal X5. Is that that? That unbelievable V8 twin turbo, just a beast. Let's take it out for a rip. All right guys, so in the X5M, if you're interested in buying one of these, these new retail for about 140K Canadian. This one being a couple years old, it's got a little bit of mileage on it. Probably probably goes for about 80, 85, give or take. Um, so just so you kind of have an understanding of the price point. Uh, so we're gonna start we're gonna start the little gander, the little little jaunt here in um, comfort mode. It's obviously got three modes, a typical sort of BMW M car. Um, and then as we get around here, we'll uh, you know we'll bring it into Sport Plus. So the cool thing is that you know, say you have your wife or you have your family in the car or it's a wet day, you can have the shift quickness all the way down, you can have it on quiet mode, you can have the comfortability of, of the suspension, everything relaxed, and it's just a typical X5. It's just a sort of, you know, run-of-the-mill X5. But then at the push of a button, or three buttons in this case, um, you can take it into your, your beast mode and access all that, all that raw sort of V8 power. So um, that's kind of what we're gonna do. All right, so we're just gonna take it nice and easy to start. All right, I got the window down just so you can hear. It's pretty pretty wet day out here, so even when we go into sport mode, we're gonna take her fairly easy. Um, but a nice sort of drive. Again, when I'm in this mode, I can kind of feel the weight. Again, we're talking almost 6,000 pounds. I can feel it. Um, what I do like is that it's obviously an SUV, so I'm high up on the road. I've got my heads up display here. I've got all the nice creature, creature comfort, excuse me, of a, of a high level BMW, right? It does feel classy, it feels luxurious. Starting this light in efficient mode, let's, let's take it up to sport mode. Right away you can hear the valve sort of opening up a little bit, the, the power being sort of a little more accessible. The ride sort of stiffens up a little bit. I'll get the window up here, sorry about the sound quality. Um, you can feel the, the, the shifts. Again, there's a button specifically for the shifts. We'll take that up one level. There's three different uh, levels. Um, everything just kind of awakens and comes to life a little bit more. Um, the torqueness is a little bit quicker. You can feel your pedal. As you touch it a little bit more, it wants to go, okay? Um, and then from there, I can kind of put it down. You can hear the engine sort of a little bit, a little bit more gnarly, a little bit louder. Valves open. Let's go to full sort of beans, all the way open. Right away, you can hear the girthiness of that of that engine. There's a lot of sound going on, but um, we'll bring up the shifts right up to the top. All right, we'll even bring it into manual mode. Shift down a couple times. Okay, and then we'll just hit it a little bit here. too 
too crazy because it's pretty wet. Um, so we'll slow it down a little bit here, but just immediate power, constant power, especially on the paddles. Um, it's it's truly a joy to be in this thing. It's unbelievable for the for the size of it. Um, in terms of like steering and stuff like that, pretty tight, pretty efficient. We've got uh, lane keep assist on here, which is a bit of a pain in the butt every time I try to take a quick lane. It's resisting me and holding me back. But again, that's just that's one of the sort of the the driver assists that come in your in your packages. Am I taking a left here? No. Yep. It's one of the the driver assists that come in you know one of the packages and everything. This one fully loaded with all the all the little gadgets and stuff like that so uh, i would definitely i know i know car and driver gave this a 10 out of 10. Uh, i can definitely see why it's you know it, again it's it's sort of ticking all the boxes it gives you the day-to-day -day practicality you know you can get your family in there you can get your dog you can get all the you know all your ikea run sort of stuff in there but at the drop of a hat bang right you've got your sports car sort of power so we talk about practicality of this car guys it's got you know it's got the practicality it's got the power it's also got a nice Harman Kardon sound system that just pumps the music out right so another box sort of ticked right when you're kind of cruising around most people are that are buying this car want that symphony of the V8 behind them so they're not constantly you know blaring their music but again that is sort of an option um, I kind of see what where this price is sort of is is coming from. It's it's very justified to me because it does everything. This is a, it's a super SUV. It does everything that your little sports car will do, but at the same time it does what your sort of what your what your truck will sort of do as well. So it's it's a cool little sort of tool to have. And as I give it some fruit, some beans, it really really goes. And this is on on a wet surface on winter tires. It's still just Oofing. So in fourth gear, it's also got uh, all-wheel drive as well. I don't know if I mentioned that. So it just it just sticks to the road. It's a pretty remarkable sort of vehicle. Um, so again, I want to I want to thank Simon, a buddy of mine, um, who kind of hooked me up with this uh, with this car for the day. Really, really appreciate it. Really grateful. You let me sort of have a little rip in it. Um, you know, if you're in the market, guys, for a car like this, highly recommend it if you've got the money. Um, you know, I think it's I think it's a really really good buy. All right, guys, thanks so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, if you like BMW M cars, if you like power, if you like big V8 twin turbos, subscribe to the channel, guys. Like this uh, like this video, smash that like button. Let that YouTube algorithm know that you're enjoying these videos, so we can move this channel forward um, and build an audience. Okay, I got a lot of other videos coming, and then in the very near future, and I want you to be subscribed. Okay. Until the next one, see you soon. Here we go. Here we go. <laughs> oh shit, just beat the M the M4. Just beat the M4. <laughs> Just beat the M4! Just beat the M4!